I, I feel that, you know, for those of you who are single and dating as well, there might be a commitment that is really difficult to achieve with relationship partners. And it, it's, it's going to feel as if relationship partners are just not as committed as you are, or it's really hard to take things to the next level. I, I feel this, uns I guess, this un it is not unrequited, but it's, it's almost like this overwhelming obstacle that you have to um, get from other people and you feel that other people or the people you're dating especially are basically um, they're not interested in commitment and that's what you really want and you you feel as if it's such a big why is it such a big task to for others like why is it so difficult for other people to commit and it's frustrating you so that's what I'm sensing here and you don't understand why so let's hope that I can flush out why I mean you know it, it makes sense why people don't want to do it we do have automatically the lovers card in the reverse position so lack of commitment already but let's see how this is playing out for for you guys so let me get four more cards okay one oh not a great card Yeah, some problems within the home environment. There's some problems here within the home environment. And it's making um, the situ situation almost like um, difficult. I wouldn't say unbearable. Well, maybe it's unbearable for, for those of you. But um, for those of you who are dealing with this person in your family or in your immediate home environment, like somebody you're living with. But I do feel that, yeah, it... it, it it can be unbearable. So let's go over this spread here. In the past position, we have the Three of Wands, and the Three of Wands, when it's in the reverse position, it's usually, you know, waiting for that one great opportunity, and this can be in work and romance, waiting on something, and it's not coming through, okay? Unfortunately, it's not coming through. Um, a lot of you are look, waiting for a commitment, taking a relationship to the next level, knowing where you stand with another person because you, you like things black and white. You don't like the, the gray areas and you don't want things to be open-ended and in between. It, it just makes you feel very uncomfortable. A lot of you have unwavering loyalty. You know, once you commit to somebody, you, you know like how to treat them right. And you also know that you're very committed and you don't understand why people stray. So it's this whole process about waiting on something like some good news and it's not coming through. And it's a little bit frustrating in the meantime. Okay. What's coming in is the three of coins. So this could be very well be a work situation as well. So the three of coins indicate to me collaboration. This is a card about, you know, working together as a team and working together to build something of value when it's in the reverse position you could have a series of like uh, work projects that are open-ended that don't really pan out so you start it and then as soon as you start it you realize oh the boss wants it to go a different direction so people are working at cross purposes with one another usually when I see this card I think about a deal gone wrong as well okay so you're waiting for something to pay, pan out and in the present situation it's not really panning out the way that you want and it can be a little bit frustrating this is also a situation where you know three people are supposed to work in tandem to build something of value but then they're off socializing and reneging on their ends of their obligations so this is kind of like a work environment that is um, greatly hinged upon um, people doing their parts but I feel that it's unfair one person is doing all the work we do have the ten of wands here one person is doing all the work and the other two are uh, getting by off the other pe that one person's like they're riding their coattails so they're not putting in the fair amount of work and they're off socializing and they're not building anything of value one person is doing all the work and I do feel it might be you it might be you that is doing all the work here crowning this reading is the ten of wands which is a card about you know a lot of responsibilities um, I'm sensing for a lot of you you might be changing homes you might be moving from one unbearable living situation to something new and the new thing is going to pan out beautifully so if you're thinking about changing homes changing jobs or anything like that 
it's actually a very good time to do that because I don't like the location where you are right now, but the foundation looks to me a little bit shaky, okay? And we also have the tower coming in, which is like um, changes on the horizons that are going to bring a lot of good things for you. So just go with it, okay? Don't question it, go with it. Um, the Ten of Wands with the Tower card usually indicates to me, you know, picking up the pieces of, of our lives and moving on. Because the foundation here is a card about acceptance. Now the High Priestess usually indicates that whole unveiling process where all the information that you need is finally coming through and you're coming to a place of enlightenment, of understanding of knowing the situation, who it is that you're dealing with and what they are doing or not doing behind your back, okay? So I feel like someone is taking you for granted. You're doing all the work and um, it's a situation potentially involving another person. If it's a romantic situation, I do feel that, you know, there is some information coming to light and you're realizing that you don't want to be stuck in this limbo anymore you need to get yourself out so this whole question about you know why are people just not doing their fair, their work why are people so lazy why are people you know afraid of commitment it's definitely coming through and people are just not ready for the commitment okay and a lot of people, they have to go through life and they have to fail many, many times before they learn the lesson. Some people, they fall once and they learn the lesson. You know, it's still learning the hard way. But you have to experience the pain before you learn the lessons. And I feel that for those people that are behind on the learning curve, they have to fail many times in order for them to learn. So I feel that for a lot of you, unfortunately, I, I do sense some type of... Uh, um, you know, threesome energy, three people working on a project, two people not doing their fair share, and three people in a relationships, and two people are, are just like um, not aware of the infidelity, okay, so some type of stepping out of the relationship, but either way, you're getting the information, information is coming to light, and you're going to realize that, okay, um, you're going to pick up the pieces, and you're going to move forward. So I definitely feel that, you know, leaving some things behind and moving on is going to be required of you. And it is Mercury in retrograde, so a lot of secrets are going to be revealed in general. So it would be in your best interest. Whatever is being revealed, it is very karmic, and it is the truth. So you want to just um, roll with it, Take it at face value because I feel like you've been working really very, very hard and you're not getting anywhere. Okay, so if it's a relationship, it shouldn't be that hard and it should be reciprocated. You know, it's a two-way street. So if someone is just being lazy and not investing in the relationship, cut your losses and move on, okay? Now, in terms of if this is a work situation because the advice here is the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles is a financial hardship card so if you're stuck in a work environment that is unbearable where other people are taking advantage you advantage of you and where you're kind of doing all of the work and you're getting very little in compensation I feel that the advice here is have something lined up, okay? The Five of Pentacles is a place of being where we feel emotional, spiritual lack, or we're feeling a lack of self-confidence. And all of these things are like mental traps that keep us in, in our present environment. And, you know, over time, it, it, it becomes something that consumes us, and we feel very stuck. So the, the result of this is I do feel for a lot of you, there is a lot of hardships that you're dealing with. It could be in relationships, also in finances, and it's keeping you kind of hostage in an unbearable situation. So an example here is you could be in a relationship for financial reasons and you can't get yourself out of it. You could be in a marriage for the same reasons you can't get yourself out of it. And the love has definitely run out in this relationship. So you just, you don't really have a choice here. You need to move on, okay? Life is about setting our intentions. And as soon as we take the right, the first step in the right direction, the universe will provide for us, okay? This is not to say that, you know, go out and quit your next job and just, um, coast. It's not about coasting. It's about hard work and being rewarded adequately. So my advice here is if it's a work situation, there will be other jobs 
in store for you. You might have to go through, you know, extensive interview process because we do have five of wands, which is notorious for going through multiple rounds of interview, competing against other people for the same position. But I do feel you have the star card as well, which is a buffer. And you're going to get the job that you want, okay? As well, there is going to be a, a new offer coming through that is really in alignment with your life path. So this situation, it seems to me like you're hitting against a brick wall. And when there are blockages in our lives, it's the universe's way of telling you very subtly you're headed in the wrong direction. So for those of you where this is not a job but a relationship where you're putting so much work and effort in and it's not being reciprocated, there will be new love for you. There will be other people. There, There's plenty of fishes in the sea. So, you know, you're in the wrong place right now. And the current situation, it, it just looks unbearable to me. And it seems as if you know what you have to do. And taking that first step is something that you, you will, I feel that you will get out of it. But the, the sooner you do it, the happier you're going to be. I don't feel for a lot of you, I, I feel like you're going to do it in in April. I, I'm sensing very strongly this April energy coming through. It could be when the sun is in Taurus, when we feel like, okay, things are a little bit more stable. So we feel good about making changes in our lives. But I, I do feel that this situation here, it's like a series of blockages. Three of Wands, your ship not coming in. Three of Coins in the reverse. And Three of Cups. So all these threes indicate you know, three is a crowd, but all of these threes indicate to me that um, you're working towards like a common goal, but the other people are headed in headed in a different direction, and you're kind of left hand holding on to you know loose ends. So you don't have the closure that you need, and at the same time, you're the only one putting in so much work trying to make the situation move smoothly, and the other two people are not putting in the work. So it's kind of like carrying dead weight, carrying dead weight. Somebody is not upholding their end of the bargain here. So this situation looks very problematic. If you can, if you're, if you're feeling it, get out of it. Okay. Cause it, it's not going to go anywhere. It's like a, a vicious cycle and you're feeling very stuck in it because you are very loyal and you feel like, you know, love conquers all, but that's not realistic because you're not dealing with your same sign. So I feel that whoever it is, it needs to be left out and left behind, okay? Because they're not pulling their weight. So please, you know, take this to uh, heart and try to get yourself out because this doesn't look very pretty, um, Scorpios. On the other hand, the outcome looks amazing, okay? So try to get yourself out of here so you can come here. All right, so external to you is the tower. So going back to what I was saying, let, let me just get one last thing out of here first. This is a card about, you know, feeling not good enough, okay? The victim mentality, feeling not good enough, feeling as if you don't deserve more, but the whole world is out there for you for the taking. So don't let self-esteem, don't let this negative feedback loop get you trapped anywhere. You do deserve more. You are very... You are so devoted and you deserve somebody that is going to give you the same amount of devotion and love and commitment, okay? So get yourself out and overcome this uh, victim mentality, overcome this poverty consciousness, overcome this low self-esteem, okay? External to you is the tower and if you wait until April, I feel that it is going to be a little bit too long, okay? So something is happening now, and it requires that you take action now. And you're operating from a place of fear, so you don't want to take the action and the initiative to advance forward from this unbearable situation. But the universe is telling you you have to take action now, because what's coming in is the tower. And this is basically like divine intervention. When we're in a place that is not right for us and we keep ourselves stuck, the universe has to intervene. And when the universe intervenes, it comes in a way that it can be very cataclysmic. It can be very, very destabilizing and very fast, okay? So some information is coming in very, very fast because the warning signs were like building up and you overlooked the warning signs. 
and you figured, oh, I can do it, I can do it, I can, you know, take on that additional burden. But it's kind of like the last straw. And I feel like for a lot of you, it might happen for the next two weeks. And if you are not dealing with this, I feel very strongly the time of April is when it bubbles up and you can't ignore it any longer. So be proactive about this and take the preemptive move, okay? Um, having a, a game plan, having that strategy and be like five steps ahead of your opponent, I feel that that's going to be much better for you. But I, I feel that for a lot of you, this has already... Um, reared its ugly head into your life like the beginning of January and now you're dealing with the residual impact and if it reared its ugly head in in January the beginning of January or in December then I feel that you you feel as if you can give it one last go but my advice is get yourself out of it okay there are a lot of fears keeping you in place it's not love it's fear so just get yourself out of it okay in terms of hopes and fears, well, this is a very good card. We have the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups denotes that there is only one way to go from here, and it's not back, okay? There's no way you can go back from this. You have the Tower and Seven of Cups, and the Tower ha has to happen. It can be detrimental, and unfortunately, Scorpios, it has to happen so that you know there's only one way to move forward. And that is basically just to move forward. Get yourself out of this because you're operating from a place of fear and you're like immobilized by fear. So you're not taking action. So the universe has to intervene. And then f moving forward, you're picking up the pieces and you're moving on to a more bearable, to a much better, brighter future. What's coming in for you here is the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands indicates conflict and competition. So for those of you looking for work, like I mentioned before, there is going to be, you know, that whole series of um, getting called in for a job um, interview and finding out that, oh, wow, a lot of people are competing for this position. So I really have to, you know, shine. And you are going to shine. You are going to be very desirable as a work candidate. So there is going to be an offer coming through for you. At the same time, I know that, you know, if a lot of you have just recently gotten out of a work of a romantic situation where you might be married, you might have joint assets, you might live together, and now you're just like, where do I go from here because I don't have a place to stay? Well, don't worry. Something else is going to be in the works for you. New offer is coming through as well. Likewise with relationship, and I'm going to say that you can't jump from one relationship to the next, okay? We can't expect to have one relationship line up for us and jump into it at the end of the previous relationship. Take some time off to heal. So if it's a relationship situation, you have to do some healing first. You have to do some confrontation. I do feel confrontation is in the cards here where you need to get those answers so that you can get the closure, so that you can finally close that chapter in your life, so you can move on and give your love to somebody else who is more deserving. So either way, the future looks amazing. You just have to take that step to get yourself out of this current um, unbearable situation, okay? So there is no fixing here. There's no going back to it. So just move on. All right, Scorpios, I do feel that that's the main message I'm getting here. Um, I feel that for March, April, there's going to be that sense, or even in February too, this is the card of Aquarius, so in the time of Aquarius, but I, I feel like it's going to come out more like in the time of Pisces. You know, the, the uh, March, April time frame, I do sense that um, because we do have this Knight of Cups, this is... Um, denotes to me more in the Piscean time period when the sun is in the P constellation of Pisces in a next water sign things are going to start to subside so when the sun is in Pisces that's when it's going to sextile no it, it's a let me see it's a trine that's when it's going to trine your sign because you're another water sign and that's when things will start to flow very very smoothly okay Get yourself out of here so that you can end up in a better headspace, so you can do some healing, so you can reap the abundance that is coming through specifically for you. And things will start to subside in a very, very nice way by the time, you know, when the sun is in the constellation of Pisces. So 
Scorpios, please, if you're dealing with this, get out of it and things will look up for you, okay? Don't worry. This card is very scary because it does indicate the whole, um, you know, not feeling good enough, feeling as if you, whatever, you know, a series of bad relationships, a series of bad jobs, you feel like it's bad luck and you feel like, oh, there's no way I can get myself out of this because bad luck is brought in cosmically so if the whole universe is against me then there's no way I can get out of it well there is a way and it's actually happening right now for you you just need to take that step okay don't be fearful about mercury in retrograde just um if a situation is unbearable and you I feel like you've been dealing with this for quite some time like you know potentially for the past six months three months if it's unbearable just get out of it don't mind the cosmos because something else is lined up for you that is really good, okay? And I feel like, especially on the financial front, okay? In love, you need to wait and you need to heal in order for the right person to come along. So that's my overall advice. Um, I'm sorry, Scorpios, but, you know, the future looks very bright. So I just urge you to look forward, okay? There's no way back from this. There's no back um, pedaling in this situation, all right? 